This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest one. No! I am not getting on Cersei's bad side. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. I'm not going to tell on you, but I'm not partaking. A little won't hurt. <sighs> Suit yourself, then. I'm absolutely not partaking. So, I, uh... I'm keeping Mira out of trouble as much as I can. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Better not be in love with me. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Okay. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. What did your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? That's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. Well, I'm not helping you. I know she often confides in you, and I was... Open. Everyone's using me to get the Marjorie so they can so use Marjorie. I'm not to you wanting to talk, you might I'd rather be on Marjorie's good side. Talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win. That I can do. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mary. That I can do. That I can do. I can I can lead them to get closer. I'm not gonna try and I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I'm not gonna try and get a favor from Marjorie. Your troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? Yes, I'm you sure. Think you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. Hey Tyrion, Lord. how's it going, buddy? Please. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon? Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? <laughs> hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Oh, Since we got it as a gift for you. Give it to you. She won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. <laughs> <laughs> Strange it should find its way into a You're bush. such a convincing liar. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. 
Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. That's rude. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to Zong is Marge is okay with that. I'm cool. Might be I'm the down. Most fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Yeah, Why are you nerd. Here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lord. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listen. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. Are you going to dismiss? You can't us? do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am Tell I. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. My current plan is stand up to the White Hills, bow down to everybody else, because just so you don't get Mira killed. to change your mind, Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. And why am I trying to not get Mira killed? Because she's probably the only forester who might make it out of this alive. <laughs> Everyone else is in the middle of my lord bad stuff. The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have. I'm terrified of Cersei had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of Ironwood? Yes, because then we have an ally with the Crown. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. Exactly. You will have him at your mercy. See, I'm or smart. You'll bring your houses to open war. That's fine. I'm in... I'm... You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. Because we... You have no shortage of confidence. Have confidence. That's really all we have. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. Oh, I don't like those kind of deals. An understanding but it's Tyrion, so... Thank you, my lord. I'm sure it'll be fine. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I would like to know if anybody's played this game without watching Game of Thrones at all and just thinks Tyrion's the shadiest person on the planet when he's probably the only person who actually looks out for the people around him.
Right, who are we stabbing? Why are people hiding when they see me? Something bad's about to happen. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. No, I'll just kill all the White Hills myself. To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger <laughs> than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. I don't want to be a leader, though. Matters without cell swords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. But he owes me a favor. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, no, 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 no one's noticing all these people closing their doors. Headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Fine. Ponte Renas. Don't guy who no Josie but Dagon Costotti Daor. You'll never find us. We have the best hiding spot in all of Yunkai. Behind this wall. Just one more we'll have to kill later. No, oh, no, not if we just leave. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. Gosh dang it. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Nah, I think the three of us can do it. I think we're fine. Cold boy? Hello? Is that a note? That looks like a note. Probably should have called out first, but it's fine. Oh, it has my name on it!
think they're trying to reach me about my extended warranty. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Oh, okay, this is sketchy. But why'd they destroy my room? There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. If you figured out a way to fix my to face. <clears throat> my lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage that enough. Why were you touching my peepee, -pee, sir? When we last spoke of Elena, you said you'd push. I know you had to fix me, on. but and so you must. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? Hello! Oh, she's cute. You look. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. All right, she doesn't immediately hate me yet. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. We could dance right now if my leg worked. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Ooh, that's smooth. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today... Your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Mm, be truthful. You given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. No, that's that's not how you start a, sent a happy sentence. To your family. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. What do you want? Exactly. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. Ah, oh, crap, that backfired. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. If it helps, They're my peepee -pee still works. The North, and they flay their enemies. My house is stronger 
than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive, even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. It does. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. Look me in the eyes. I wish that was enough. Look me in my eyes. You love me. But I have to think of my father. No, dang it! I'm going to tell father the betrothal is No! Here. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs. Oh! Out. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. I will kill you. Lord Ramsay, as soon as my leg works again. ...to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. I do, I'll kiss you on the mouth enough, right now. Enough of this. I do not have to obey. See, that's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shine. Absolutely lady. not. I don't care if this gets Just me killed. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today... I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. So you maybe do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. All right, so maybe I made some mistakes there. <laughs> Ooh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Not gonna lie, maybe made an oopsie poopsie there. He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. Then marry me and give me your army. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. Mom, shut up. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. My lord. Are you well? I'm going to kill that man. Yeah!